Great. But they want ventilators. Uh, Italy wants ventilators. Spain wants ventilators. Germany wants ventilators. They're all calling for ventilators. Well, we're going to make a lot of ventilators. In this episode, I will explain more details about the flow sensors and how they are connected to the microcontroller. If you didn't watch the previous episodes, please watch them now to be able to understand this episode. In Medtronic PB560, we use AWM3300V as a flow sensor. You can download its data sheet from the description of this video. The circuit of the flow sensing is very simple. The flow sensor has three terminals. Two of them are connected to the power supply. The third terminal is the sensor output. The other components of the circuit are simple passive components. These are the performance characteristics of the flow sensor at 10 volts supply voltage. The maximum flow is 1000 standard cubic centimeters per minute. Its corresponding output voltage is 5 volts DC. In ST10F276 microcontroller, pin 37 is connected to 5 volts as an analog reference. And pin 38 is connected to 0 as an analog ground. So the analog input voltage range is from 0 to 5 volts. Each analog input pin of port 5 is connected to the anode of a low forward voltage high speed diode. All cathodes of these diodes are connected to positive 5 volts, to prevent the analog inputs from exceeding positive 5 volts. In the next episodes, I will explain the other inputs of port 5 of the microcontroller, then I will explain how to write the software program for the microcontroller, to read the port 5 analog input signals. To receive a notification when I upload the next video, please subscribe and choose to receive all notifications from the ventilators channel. and click like and share to publish ventilators manufacturing knowledge. If you have any questions about ventilators please write your question in a comment below.